Welcome to the journey of love and light. Pisces, this is your August general reading. It may or may not resonate with everyone since it is a general reading, but if it does resonate, like, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. You wouldn't mind because it helps my channel grow and it gives me a reason to keep coming back and giving you guys these readings for free. At the end of this reading, Pisces, I'll be pulling an angel answer card for whatever question you have for your angel, so stick around for that. And we'll get started with four cards from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I'll clarify with the Essential Tarot and an archetype card. The first card out is, my goodness, this is the third time this has been the first card um, for readings this month. So apparently this month is a time for people getting into alignment with their own um, best interest. So next card out is the benefactor. The next card out Pisces is the fool's embrace. And the final card out Pisces is the dust devil. Now let's go ahead and get some tarot cards to clarify these from essential tarot, as I said, okay, to clarify the well song, we have the ace of Pentacles. That's good. We have the knight of wands interesting we have okay so I, I'm gonna have to just look at this really the Hierophant and then we have the two of wands okay I swear I shuffled these cards and I shuffled them well and these cards um, in these tarot decks in this tarot deck it seemed to be consistent I mean across several of the readings but all right Pisces let's go ahead and pull a card from the uh, archetype for each of these weeks so first week we have the vow. The next week we have the starborn number three card. I love it. Next card we have is the tear, and then the next week we have. The shadow okay all right Pisces let's get started so the first week the six of uh, the actually six plus one is seven this is you know reminds me of a cups card the water energy so Pisces this is your energy here um, the well song it talks about you know resonating so what I'm sensing is is that you know you are in um, in the flow with your own vibe is what I'm hearing. So like you're in, you're in your flow um, as you enter into the month of August, uh, my dear Pisces. So um, it's like life itself is resonating with you is what I'm hearing. And the next card out is the Ace of Pentacles. So this says that, you know, there could be some new um, financial start, some new uh, fresh idea, you know, some big offer coming in at the first part of August for you. Again, this is a general reading. It's not career and money, which I will be doing later along with love readings. But for the general reading, just know that, you know, as long as you're staying in the flow, that there's going to be some new um, offer opportunity coming up for you, my dear Pisces. And the next card out is the Vow. And there's, I noticed the birds on here uh, specifically, and it looks like, it looks like you know, potentially, uh, you know, coins around. So what I'm sensing is, is that, you know, you just need to make a vow to yourself to stay um, in alignment with your uh, things that are, you know, um, resonating with your greatest and highest good and things that, you know, feel right for you, Pisces. And by doing so, you will attract in this new opportunity, this new um, offer um, that will be coming your way. In the next, second week of August, Pisces, this benefactor card, this three card, reminds me of the uh, three of cups and, you know, really having an opportunity to celebrate. But this card says grace and generosity. So what I'm sensing is, is that, you know, you're going to be experiencing the grace of God. Uh, this three card also talks about, you know, uh, birthing something new. So whatever this new opportunity is that in the, in the first week of August, uh, Pisces, it looks like it's definitely going to turn into a situation where you're going to be feeling um, uh, the, the, benefits the you're going to be the benefactor to grace and generosity so someone's going to you know give you something that makes you feel like you're the king like you know you like you that you're in charge and that you have you know happiness in your life and in your and in your family is what i'm hearing the next one out is the knight of wands and this is talks about um 
Aries, Leo, um, or um, Sagittarius energy, but it also talks about, you know, some sort of, you know, an, an, an offer that comes in fast that, or someone that kind of comes in and out. So it could be that you got to be a little bit careful about flighty people in the second week of August, like people who like have ideas and then they run and they come back and they run. So just make make sure that whatever it is that you are you know involved in in the second week of august that is you know bringing this this place of uh, grace and generosity that you are you know not being um distracted by um things that don't last is what i'm hearing um because what i'm sensing with this next card out the it's like a number three again so you had a three and a three here which is very interesting right Got, uh, and 3-3 three, three is an angel number, so you might want to check that out. But you have this, um, uh, the star born. And so, and, and I'm seeing this egg here that's, you know, that's cracking open. And so what I'm sensing actually is you are, are being birthed into your next level, your next, the next level of your life. So, um, and that's all the result of you staying in alignment with yourself and, you know, taking on this new opportunity, you know, and being true to yourself, that this is really allowing you to, you know, uh, be reborn into a place where, you know, things are abundant, things are, you know, harmonious and, you know, um, to your liking is what I'm hearing. And in the third week, um, Pisces, you have this 22 card, 2-2, two, two, again, another angel number. Um, it says fool's embrace transmuting pain. So what I'm sensing, you know, the fool's embrace in to talk about transmuting pain, I'm sensing that this is really going to require a leap of faith on your part. Um, and it may be, um, as a, it, you know, as a result of taking this leap, it's going to take you away from a situation that has been painful to you, a, a situation that's like you felt like it's held you back in some sort of way, you know, so that you can be reborn and you can really uh, benefit from this, you know, this new moon, this new opportunities that there's, you know, coming through to you. So know that there will be um, an opportunity for you to really push through the pain and, and doing so you will, um, you know, ultimately turn that pain into power is what I'm hearing. Um, and the Hierophant card says that, you know, this is all a part of your divine path, your, your divine destiny. You know, nothing that's happening to you now is a, is a surprise to the divine. And, you know, it really even is not even a surprise to your own soul because you agreed to all this before you came to the planet. But know that, you know, you are a really strong individual and you you might even be put on the planet to transmute pain for not, not just for yourself, but for others. But know that you know, that the the tears that you are uh, crying, that they will turn into jewels is what I'm hearing. So like whatever pain that you've experienced in the past, whatever hardships or whatever challenges, you know, once you have, you know, really learned um, to, um, you know, embrace, you know, what it is that you desire and allow yourself to be reborn into this new place that you'll be able to leave behind any of this pain. And like I said, any tears that you've cried will turn into gold is what I'm hearing. Um, and the final week of the month of August, Pisces, you have the dust devil and it says, um, moving out of stagnation. So definitely see like whatever it's been like for you, like uh, coming into the month, like whatever's made you feel this pain and that you've, you know, felt like that you, you know, might not have been, you know, uh, progressing as quickly as you would have wanted to, that now there's going to be this almost like this, you know, upheaval, this change that's coming into your life at the end of August that is going to, you know, change, all, you know, you're going to move out of this place of stagnation and things are going to really start moving for, forward for you. Um, and that's going to require you to make a choice. The, that's the two of wands here says that, you know, you, that you have the whole world in your hands and, you know, you have the op opportunity to decide which is the best, best path for you. Um, and you know, the final card out is just a reminder from spirit to choose the light, choose that, which makes you feel, uh, closest to God. You know, there's always a shadow experience. You know, we always have the dark and the light in our life, but we can always choose the light. So know that you grow from the shadow and you, you're going to have grown, uh, from, you know, going through whatever challenges that you've experienced, you know, up until the month of August, but in the month of August, you're really going to go through this, you know, um, rebirth and reawakening and, you know, uh, transmuting and leaving all the pain behind you so that this shadow self allows you 
to really just um, ignore the shadow side of yourself acknowledge the, the the challenges but really focus on that which is light and and that which is positive i'm hoping this is still recording because it just went to darkness okay so hopefully it did so all right pisces so i'm about to pull your angel answers card so whatever question you have for your angels be thinking about that and as i pull this card this is the angel's answer if you need some time to think about your question you can always put it on pause and come back whenever you're ready but here we go pisces this is your answer from the angels all right what well, really flew out here okay so whatever the question is that you have here is your answer no so the answer is no or at least right now the answer is no so i don't know what question you ask but just know that the angels are always looking out for your best and highest good and the the answer to your question is no so i'm wishing you nothing but peace and blessings on your journey of love and light and until we meet again i'll see you on the other side